The P&O Pacific Dawn, now in quarantine, has offloaded fresh swine flu fears on our shores. Gold Coast newlyweds Nikki and Kira Lee Campbell were struck down with severe flu-like symptoms on their honeymoon voyage. Had a terrible headache and really severe back pain and uh, the doctor said I had a 40 degree temp. In an interview with the Today Show yesterday, Nikki described the cruise liner as a floating disease. He noticed hundreds of fellow passengers coughing and blowing their noses as they left the ship. I said to Kiralee, I, I can't believe we're going to be all walking off this, this cruise and 2,000 people are going to be walking back onto a cruise. We're still going to be so infected. There's 4,000 people affected, uh, exposed to this, this uh, flu. While health experts say most of the 67 confirmed cases in Australia have been mild, they predict at least 2 million Australians could catch the virus. So who's most at risk? People who are over 65, people who are living with uh, other illnesses, uh, pregnant mums, uh, perhaps the very young. And those who have been overseas. According to influenza expert Dr Simon Bowler, the symptoms of swine flu are much like those of the regular flu. Shaking chills, high fevers, muscle aches and pains, a bit of a cough, uh, a bit of a sniffle, a bit of a sore throat. But more severe, according to the Campbells. Just oh. totally, totally stronger. Just a real bad dose of it. One minute you're feeling, you're feeling like you're getting better and you're, you're starting to feel uh, things are starting to look up and then all of a sudden you're, you're back down in bed with a fever and you're sweating and very chesty. Uh, you start coughing a lot. While Dr Bowler suggests a sniffle or a cough is probably ignorable, if you feel your symptoms are severe enough, raise the alarm as early as possible by phoning your doctor. Anybody who's unwell or anxious about it should perhaps contact their GP. Adding to public confusion is the question of treatment. Antiviral medications Tamiflu and Relenza have been in high demand. While Relenza is inhaled through a puffer, Tamiflu is an oral medication. Both are only available through your doctor. So far, people have proved responsive to it. If you require treatment, Dr Bowler says don't delay. These drugs only work if you have them in the first 48 hours. Um, and uh, after that time, uh, probably not terribly effective. How about the flu injection? If we haven't had it already, is it better late than never? Well, according to the respiratory expert, it's not likely to help ward off swine flu. However... There's every reason to have it because we're still going to get our usual flu. Resolving further confusion, a national advertisement set to hit our screens tomorrow will inform us on how to best protect ourselves and our families. As fears mount over how far and fast swine flu may spread, doctors are urging the public to remain calm but vigilant. Avoid touching your face or your eyes or your nose when you're out in public until you've either washed your hands or used some uh, antibacterial wipe. So once again, the symptoms to look out for are shaking chills, high fevers, muscle aches and pains, a cough, sniffles and a sore throat. If you're displaying those symptoms, phone your GP or phone the Swine Flu Helpline on 180 Amid all the speculation, Dr Bowler believes there is comfort to be found. Happily, this virus seems to be clinically pretty mild and uh, I don't think we need to be panicking at all.